a new series. It's um, going to be on every Wednesday, hopefully. Um, not next Wednesday, probably, because the video kind of failed. Um, perhaps a bit too uh, over exaggerative. Um, perhaps. Yeah, um, yeah, it's not going to really be one on Wednesday, but I have a special finale one for today to start us off. Um, yeah, enjoy. It's going to be interesting. And this is 2011, so we've got a whole load of new stuff coming your way. But for now, watch this clip. Today we'll be creating um, Alex Idea sauce from these chilies here. Here is what we will need. We will need one bottle of beautiful Tabasco sauce, and of course one half of a bottle. Um, two, two Japolino peppers, and if you're blind and can't read, um, jalapeno peppers. If you've already done stuff with a J. Next coming up we have the beautifully lined up, um, beautifully lined up Hungarian hot wax chilli peppers. And after that we have the lovely serenade with a medium heat. And this little dinky one on the right would like to be known as the bird's eye extreme heat. Also we have a secret illegal ingredient which I'm not allowed to tell you. Be very careful when you're uh, cooking um, and making chilli stuff because your camera could get damaged from them. So first what we're going to do is pour in one and a half bottles of Tabasco sauce. So here we go, one and a half bottles of Tabasco sauce. We seem to have a slight problem here, as you can see. It seems to be defying gravity, this liquid. Um, I'm not sure quite what is happening here. As you can see, it's it's unfocused, but um, it, yeah, it's not really working. So I'll have to go with just one bottle of Tabasco sauce, seeing as that's got a slight minor fault. Now, let's carry on. Um, what we will need now is the, well let's move on to, let's move on to the green peppers. Um, we'll take the top off as sh shown, yes, and uh, this is very dangerous of course handling these peppers so that's why I'm wearing protective hand equipment as you can see to make sure my hands are safe. And I put one in and um, rev up the blender, this, uh, I've never done this before as you can probably see. Um, Let's just blend this then with the hand uh, blender. Um, it doesn't seem to be working. Oh dear. Yeah, we're blending it. Um, right. Uh, how do we manage this? There's a lot of pull. Um, that um, um, seems to be the uh, least spiciest uh, pepper, but um, it is making your eyes water because it, it's so spicy when it's mixed in the air. We're going to have to think of a different uh, technique to do this. Um, I'm, I'm not sure um, what we could do, so let's come and have a think of what we may be able to do with the chilli stuff. As you can see, it's very noxious. Let's see if I can get you to go take a peek on top. Not very successful so far. Um, well, let's see if we can carry on with uh, the next um, chili. We might be tilting a bit. There we go. Okay, now let's uh, let's uh, drop in the next chili pepper and just whack it a bit. Flavour. <coughs> oh, it's absolutely it's not very nice. So let's just clear. Oh dear. Um, yeah, we'll just whack it a bit. There we go, that's the first um, two peppers in the pot. Now we will get 
these peppers here into to, to the pot. Now, see as they're covered with a slight of secret illegal ingredient, we should be careful. I'm going to use um, what's known as a knife, or a knife for those who can't read again. Um, let's get out a knife and how are we going to do this? Cut this hazardous thing in half. Okay, we are work it's working. Um, of course we're being very careful as you can see here. Yes, that was um, very successful. And now let's go for the other one. Being very careful with our cutting, as you can see. And wow, look at look, look at that cut. Well, that is quality in cooking. That's why I'm a, a three Michelin Michelin star chef, as you can see. And now we will take the end of this pepper and put it into a pot. This is not being wasteful at all, because this will all go to good use. Um, trust me, we, we need to take off the end, of course. We do this by hitting it very hard with a knife. Now, of course, we've got to be careful with these ends, because they can be very spicy. So we shall not put these in there, in case people get too spicy. I'll stuff that. Now, coming up is the, um, the whatever it was called, pepper. And now we're going to stab it once more. And make sure we grab the careful with a very spicy end and um, stick the pepper through the middle and slice like this. This should um, get rid of most of the spiciness from it because then we don't want to be too spicy or people's mouths will get burnt, of course. We just get some holes in to let these spikes get into the air to protect people from their mouths being burnt. Their seeds flying out because they are very hazardous to people. Once we've once we've cut this up nicely, we shall pop it into the mixture of peppers. Now coming up is the very hazardous. Um, I'm going to go and have to put on my biohazard suit here because this is very dangerous. I'm now in my uh, biohazard suit. You can't see me because it would be highly embarrassing. But uh, to do this one, we're going to have to be very very delicate with it. Um, as you can see, what we've got here is a spoon, and what we're supposed to do, according to the recipe books, my personal recipe books, is to make it very delicate, etc. We should whack it very hard um, to be nice, get the right flavours out of it. That we don't want to be too spicy, of course. Well, spicy chilli should be careful, carefully. Oh God, it's spurting out spicy stuff across the kitchen. But now it's been spiced up and got spiced out, um, we should put it in the pot using one teaspoon and we should put one teaspoon of whatever this is into the bowl and once we've put uh, stuff like that we shall now add our secret illegal ingredient here which of course I'm not allowed to tell you which is uh, it's icing sugar, I'm not allowed to tell you what it is of course because then, then you might buy it, and, and it's illegal, and you might get in trouble with the police people. So, so, so we're going to just wind this camera out a bit, and um, pour this, empty this into our bowl. This should add good flavours to, 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 to our thing. Now, now we're going to have to mix it, so we need to get a spoon. Now we have a spoon, we can properly mix it safely. Mixing should be done very carefully, so you get maximum taste from, 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 from the mixture. Now, I can see I'm mixing it with a very um, clever technique here, um, which is known as, um, um, what is it known? I'm not sure what it is actually, the correct English word is. Obviously, we shouldn't blend them because you could kill yourself. I am wearing my biohazard suit just so. <coughs> um, pardon me, the, 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 these peppers are flying through the air into my mouth and are making me. Whoa! Well, uh, geezer, oh my god, what's happened? Um, erupted, it just erupted pepper. So once that should be mixed properly, now your pepper mixture, Alex Idea Sauce, should be complete once I've had, you have um, mixed it. So let's see what it looks like. Here is the sauce. It may just look like a bunch of chilies, but it is a very elegantly worked piece of art, as you can imagine. Um, I will be adding some of this stuff to my dinner tonight, oh dear. It appears I have some chilli sauce in a cut. 
Oh dear. What a shame. Obviously, it is 95.61% um, Tabasco sauce, but um, it is also 95.51% chilies. So, it is a very good and balanced mixture of the two substances. Thanks for watching um, this video today. Um, make sure you're a nice sauce at home. Be careful and bring a biohazard suit to your safety. Goodbye.